Jai Radha Madhava Kunj Bihari Radha Madhava Kunj Bihari Radha Madhava Kunj Bihari Gopi Jana Bala Bagiri Bada Hari Gopi Jana Bala Bagiri Bada Hari Shodanandana Brajadana Randana Shodanandana Brajadana Randana Brajadana Randana Jamuna Tira Vana Sari Jamuna Tira Vana Sari Jamuna Tira Vana Sari Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya 
Prabhu Pada Gaya Prabhu Pada 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 Gaur Pimanandi Jayam Vishapad Paramahamsa Pri Vrajgacha Jasto Tarasatya Sri Simad His Divine Grace Shirabhai Charandar Vindu Bhakti Vedanta Swami Sri Rapabhupada Ki Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Skandibiti Founder Charya's Divine Grace Shri Rapabhupada Ki Namacharya Sri Naharidas Thakura Ki Samavata Bhakti Vrinda Ki Hari Nama Sankirtan Ki Grantaraj Mad Bhagavatam Ki Jaini Thai Gaur Pimanandi all glory is to the assembled devotees, all glory is to the assembled devotees, all glory is to the assembled devotees, all glory is, all glory is to Sri Guru to Sri Gauranga, all glory is, all glory is to Sri Prabhupada. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Taksuran Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manobisam Mastapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine and Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Pasyacha Desatarine Daya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gradhara Sri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Surabhyay Namaha 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 Mukam karoti vasaram pangum langayate Girim yat kripat maham bande Sri gurum dinataranam Yat kripat maham bande Sri gurum dinataranam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jai Sri Hare Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai Sri Rupa Ki Jai So I'd like to begin by thanking everyone for coming and attending our program this evening तो सर्वदा मैं सबका धन्यवाद करता हूँ कि आज आप यहाँ आए आज ये समझाकालीन इस 
क्लास को अटेंड करने के लिए दिस इवनिंग आर टॉपिक इज ऑन एजुकेशन ट्रेडिशनल एजुकेशन ऑल्सो कैन बी रिफर टू एज वर्णाश्रम एजुकेशन तो आज का जो शीर्षक है वो शिक्षा है परंपरागत शिक्षा या वर्णाश्रम शिक्षा सो एजुकेशन वी ऑल नो is uh, especially in the context of vedic culture uh, something that is absolutely vital and essential to shiksha jo hum sab ko hi gyat hai ki vedik paripeksh mein ye sabhi ke liye avashyak hai shri prapad spoke uh, extensively about the importance of vedic traditional education to shri prabhupad ne vedic shiksha vedic paramparaga shiksha vishay par bahut vistar mein jo kaha hai and uh, we should be able to see how there is a major contrast between modern education and vedic education aur hum sab dekh sakte hain ki आज की जो आधुनिक शिक्षा है उसमें और वैदिक शिक्षा में कितना बड़ा अंतर है एक्चुअली जस्ट बिफोर कमिंग हियर आई वॉज इन दमोदार देश एंड वन आफ्टर वन प्रोग्राम अंग स्टूडेंट केम अप टू मी एंड द क्वेश्चन तो अभी यहाँ आने से पहले भी दामोदर देश में था तो वहाँ पे एक जो स्टूडेंट था उसने मेरे से आके प्रश्न किया ही वॉज अंग यंग मैन यंग मैन नॉट इवन अ यंग मैन स्टिल टीन एज मे बी सेवनटीन और एटीन वो एक नवयुवक था सत्रह अट्ठारह वर्ष का एंड द टॉपिक दैट इवनिंग वॉज ऑल्सो रिगार्डिंग एजुकेशन तो उस दिन का शीर्षक भी जो है शिक्षा से संबंधित ही था and his question was it was a very serious question uh, first time i was meeting him and other people were there and his question was should i continue with my university education to wo jo chhatra tha wo jo yuvak tha usne aake mujhse bada hi gambhir prashn kiya aur usne pucha ki kya mujhe अपनी यूनिवर्सिटी की जो मेरी शिक्षा है को मैं कर रहा हूँ ले रहा हूँ क्या मुझे उसको जारी रखना चाहिए आई कुड अंडरस्टैंड बाई द टोन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दैट ही वॉज नॉट लाइक गोइंग टू स्कूल तो मुझे उसके कहने के और उसकी जो उसकी भाषा और उसके बोलने के तरीके से मुझे ये प्रतीत हो गया कि उसे शिक्षा में कोई किसी तरह का चाव नहीं उस यूनिवर्सिटी की अपनी शिक्षा में actually in, the, in vedic culture as we will see we speak about what is called formal education and non formal education to hum ab dekhenge ki kaise hum vedic shiksha vedic shiksha ke antargat hum jo paramparagat formal shiksha hai aur ek jo hai informal shiksha hai formal and actually there's three kinds formal non formal and informal hindi hai formal non formal informal yeah so maybe <laughs> difficult <Anybody> can... <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> difficult to translate <laughs> but uh, we will see it as we present the uh, powerpoint uh, they will be more easily identifiable तो जब हम जो पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन में देखेंगे तो फिर हम इसका भेद समझ पाएंगे या ओके सो वैदिक एजुकेशन और वर्णाश्रम एजुकेशन इस इस अप है या या ओके बोथ साइड्स इट इज देयर महाराज हां ऑन बोथ साइड्स करेक्ट या सम ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ वैदिक एजुकेशन नंबर 1 इट इज सिंपल तो सर्वप्रथम जो वैदिक शिक्षा है वो एकदम सरल है एवरीवन कैन सी द स्क्रीन एक्सेप्ट द ट्रांसलेटर आई कैन सी आई 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 
<laughs> so I think it's okay. Another characteristic is that Vedic education is natural. Or dusre jo iski visheshta hai ki ye simple, natural, and then original. Original. Okay. So ye sahaj hai or jo ye mool hai. Original. It is also Origin. scientific. Or ye vagyanik bhi hai. And finally, it is spontaneous. Or fear ye jo hai. A little bit, little bit of a challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah the spontaneous. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> There's a nice expression. Okay. He might need some help. So yeah. be merciful Mataji. to him. <laughs> Mataji will not prompt him. <laughs> So there's a nice expression that's on the uh, on the screen. Uh, education is life, and life is education. Shiksha hi jivan hai, or jivan hi shiksha hai. Yeah, this is a very motto we can say. Uh, these are a few uh, photos from um, Gurukul in Vrindavan quite some years back, showing how the the students are are happy at the end kuch chitra jo hai vrindavan ke hai vrindavan gurukul ke aur hum dekh sakte hain ki is tarah se sabhi chhatra jo hai bahut anand mein hai yeah so varnashrama important to understand is divided into four levels beginning with the lower level addressing physical needs to ye char star par vedik shiksha jo hai usme se jo pratham star hai wo जो बच्चे की जो है फिजिकल नीड्स शारीरिक जो आवश्यकता हैं उस पर मेंटल नीड्स फिर मानसिक आवश्यकता सोशल नीड्स फिर सामाजिक आवश्यकता एंड स्पिरिचुअल और आध्यात्मिक ऑफ़ द सोल ऑफ़ द सोल आत्मा आध्यात्मिक आत्मा की आवश्यकता या सो हियर वी विल कवर uh, some basic uh, understanding of what is varnashrama to yahan hum jo hai jo bilkul basic jo hai ki varnashram kya hai usko samjhe what is education shiksha kya hai and what is varnashram education aur jo kya varnashram education kya hai and we will end the last section actually is explaining about five pillars of education. तो अंतिम चरण में हम पांच जो स्तंभ हैं शिक्षा के वैदिक शिक्षा के उनको समझेंगे। We won't spend very much time. Varnashram, everyone knows, it's the four divisions of varnas and ashrama. तो हम इस पे वर्णाश्रम पर ज़्यादा समय नहीं व्यतीत करेंगे। ये जो चार आश्रम और चार वर्ण हैं उस। Yes, and we also know, should know that sanatan dharma is not only Sanatan eternal for the soul, but also Sanatan for the system of Varna and Ashrama. So, we have to say that the Sanatan Dharam is the Sanatan Dharam. So, 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 the Sanatan Dharam is the Sanatan Dharam. Yesterday, we spoke a little bit about material Swadharma. And spiritual swadharma. कल हमने थोड़ी सी चर्चा भौतिक स्वधर्मा और आध्यात्मिक स्वधर्ता स्वधर्मा पे की। So we could say that material swadharma is varnashrama dharma. तो भौतिक स्वधर्मा हम कह सकते हैं कि भौतिक स्वधर्म जो है वही वर्णाश्रम धर्म है। Whereas spiritual swadharma is Bhagavat dharma. और जो आध्यात्मिक धर्म है जो वो वर्णाश्रम धर्म है भागवत धर्म भागवत धर्म या या ओके एंड ऑफ कोर्स आर अचार्यस दे हैव मोर रिसेंटली यूज्ड द टर्म दाईवा वर्णाश्रम तो हमारे आचार्यों ने अभी हाल में ही इसको दैवीय एंड दाईवा वर्णाश्रम बाइन कल्चर Daivya Varnashram means Daivya Divine Culture. Daivya Sanskriti. Yeah. So I mentioned briefly about 
uh, formal, non-formal, and informal. I'll just explain briefly. Formal means long-term. Formal studies. ka art hai jo yeah. lambe samay tak rahe. And such type of education mostly requires a good amount of intelligence. To aise shiksha ke liye jo hai ek baut chaturta chahiye. In the Vedic culture, yeah, in the Vedic culture, formal education means Gurukula. So Vedic culture may formal education means Gurukal. Yeah. Second level is called non-formal, which is in uh, English we can refer to it to that as vocational training. Non-formal hai, jisko hum vocational unopcharic. An <laughs> object shiksha. Yeah, which is more less intellectual and more physical or manual. So it's me come put the money per jada sharirik samcha. Yeah. And the third type informal means every day when we hear something or read, we are all getting different types of education in a informal manner. Uh to yeah. informal hai usme ham ja parke charcha karke. Jada informal. Yeah. Uh, so I want to bring out a very, very important point here. Normally when we think of Vedic or traditional education, we think of Gurukula. But Gurukula falls in the category of formal education. So Gurukul par Gurukul jo hai, wo to opcharik shiksha ke antargat aata hai formal education. And it's only for a very small percentage of the population. Or wo ek bahut chote se jansakya ke ek bahut chote hisse ke liye hi hai. The majority of students to in the Vedic culture uh, are meant are meant for non-formal education. So Vedic jo sanskriti hai usme jagatar jo shishya hai wo informal usme aate hai anopcharik star pe aate hai. Probably not too many students here but students will be happy will be happy to hear or to know that in the Vedic culture majority of students don't go to school formal so, school. So <laughs> यहाँ पे बहुत सारे छात्र नहीं हैं पर फिर भी मैं बताना चाहता हूँ कि वैदिक संस्कृति में ज़्यादातर जो छात्र होते हैं वो इनफॉर्मल अनऑपचारिक शिक्षा प्राप्त करते हैं। Okay, then the question comes, what do they do? तो फिर प्रश्न उठता है कि वो करते क्या हैं? How they get their education? तो उनको अपनी शिक्षा कैसे प्राप्त होती है? Now I will read to you a very, very, very important a verse and purport from the tenth canto of the Bhagavatam. तो मैं अब आपको बहुत 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 ही महत्वपूर्ण एक श्लोक और उसका तात्पर्य दसवें स्कंद से पढ़के सुनाऊंगा। He's a good translator. बहुत 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 three times. So this is a purport taken from a chapter describing the daily activities of Krishna and Balaram. तो ये जो ये दसवें स्कंद के और daily activities of Krishna and Balaram तो कृष्ण भगवान और बलराम भगवान की जो नित्य जो गतिविधियाँ थीं उस विषय पर है। So the reference is Canto Ten, Chapter Eleven, Verse Thirty Seven. Make a mental note of that. Canto 10, chapter 11, 11 verse 37. 37. Yeah. 10, 11, 37. 10, 11, 37. 10, 11, 37. 10, 11, 37. 10, 11, 37. 10, 11, 37. Skanda das adhyaya gyara shlok sentis. Very, very, very. I, I, I request all of the devotees later on to kindly research and read and not only read but think about the meaning of this purport to main sabse prarthna karunga ki iske pashchat sab iske tatpare padhe aur us par chintan kare so i will it's a short text 
and short purport that I will read slowly to allow our translator to nicely translate. Yeah, I will find out from Ah, yeah. okay, yeah. <laughs> Dinat bro. 10, 11, 37. 10, 11, 37 in Hindi. Mein jara mere ko. Can somebody get it for him? Ah, okay. I'll get it. You can get it? Yes. If somebody can get it for you because otherwise you have to concentrate on hearing and translating. Somebody kindly. Yeah, yeah, but Mara is there doing it. <laughs> I got yeah. it. Okay, so I, I, I read the text. <clears throat> uh, Krishna and Balaram acting like small boys and talking in half broken language gave transcendental pleasure to the inhabitants of Braja. So, is there a Krishna? Or Sri Krishna or Balram. Now you have to you have so to lower you have to lower your mic because yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. So this way, Sri Krishna or Balram, chote bachcho ke saman, totally bhasha mein ek dusre se baat kar rahe hain aur divya anand ka. Yes. Aur vaj ke sabhi vasiyon ko divya anand de rahe hain. In due course of time, they became old enough to take care of the calves. Or kuchhi samay mein wah gaye aur gaya ke jo bachde hain, unke khyal karne ke liye calves hain. The small bade ho gaye. Calves, right? Yeah, calf. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we continue. Then the purport actually. As soon as Krishna and Balaram were a little grown up, they were meant for taking care of the calves. So, जैसे ही कृष्ण और बलराम थोड़े बड़े हो गए, वैसे ही उन वो गाय और बच्चनों के बच्चिया और बच्चनों का ध्यान रखने के लिए हो गए. They were meant for taking care. Although born in a very well-to-do family, they still had to take the calves. तब कि वो बड़े ही धनाढ़ घरे में धनी घर में थे, फिर भी उनका उनको गैया और बच्चियों का ख्याल रखना था। And I underline in blue here, you can see it. Those were, yeah. This was the system of education. तो ये मैंने जो है ब्लू कलर में किया है आप लोगों के लिए, जिससे आप ध्यान से दे सकें कि यह उस समय पर इसी तरह का शिक्षा प्रदान करने का जरिया था, सिस्टम था। you might have read ahead of me here. Uh, this was the education means this is what is referred to as formal education. Those who don't go to Gurukula, their system of education looking after cows. So, this is what is the meaning that this was the shiksha ka tarika tha, wa anopcharik tha. Jo school nahi ja rahe hain, wo is tarah se shiksha praapt kiya karte yeah. the. And Prabhupada further clarifies, those who were not born in Brahmana families were not meant for academic education. So Prabhupada aage phir kehte hain ki junko, jo unka janm Brahman parivar mein nahi hua tha, un wo jo opcharik shiksha ke liye, un wo log opcharik shiksha ke liye nahi the. Yeah. So th this is something very important that we. Uh, we cannot immediately understand so easily. So, ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है, पर इसे इतनी सरलता से हम नहीं समझ सकते हैं. Because all of us have been conditioned by modern education, which means education means means going to school. क्योंकि हम सब जो आज का वो आधुनिक तरीका है, उससे इतना बद्ध हो गए हैं कि हम सिर्फ इतना ही समझते हैं कि शिक्षा का अर्थ है स्कूल जाना. In the same purport, I continue here in the next slide, Prabhupada mentions, the Brahmanas were trained in a literary academic education. So, Srila Prabhupada phir is taat pari mein aage phir kehte hain. The Kshatriyas were trained to take care of the state and the Vaishas learned how to cultivate the land and take care of the cows and the calves. So, Brahmano ko shiksha dene ka aur pathan pathan ke shiksha दी जाती थी शत्रीय जो समाज की और जो राज्य की आवश्यकता हैं उसकी शिक्षा दी जाती थी वैश्य जो है कृषि और गायों का 
ध्यान रखना yeah. उसको सीखते थे इट मीन्स फॉर्मल एजुकेशन फॉर फॉर द ब्राह्मणस एंड द क्षत्रियस इसका अर्थ ये हुआ कि ब्राह्मण और क्षत्रिय के लिए फॉर्मल एजुकेशन औपचारिक शिक्षा एंड नॉन फॉर्मल एजुकेशन वॉज फॉर द वाइस और वैश्य के लिए नॉन फॉर्मल एंड शुद्र औपचारिक और शूद्र के लिए भी अनौपचारिक शिक्षा एंड देन द लास्ट पोर्शन ऑफ द प्रोर्ट प्रॉपर्ट इज टेलिंग देर वॉज नो नीड टू वेस्ट टाइम गोइंग टू स्कूल देर वॉज नो नीड टू वेस्ट टाइम गोइंग टू स्कूल to be falsely educated and later increase the number of the unemployed aur prabhupad aage jo tatparya mein kehte hain ki ye iski bilkul koi avashyakta school ja kar samay kharab karne ki koi avashyakta nahi hai aur jisse ki ek jo jhoote shiksha ke dwara aur baad mein jo unemployed youth hain wo unke jo hai na unka jansankhya badhai jaye Uh, I didn't write this. This is directly Prabhupada's purport. So, ये प्रभुपाद के तात्पर्य से है. Yeah, and then Prabhupada finishes, uh, ends the this purport by telling how Krishna and Balaram taught us by their personal behavior. Krishna looking after the cows and playing his flute, and Balaram taking care of agricultural activities with a plow in his hand. तो हम फिर देखते हैं कि इस, इस कैसे भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने जो है गायों का ध्यान दिया गायें चराई और बलराम जी ने जो है हल कृषि का ध्यान दिया और हल हल लगाया सो आई आई रिक्वेस्ट आर डिवोटिज स्पेशली आर पेरेंट्स टू री रीड टू रीविजिट दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन ऑफ द भागवतम because if this is meant to be if this is meant to be the standard of education then we are very far away from that standard in modern day education hum ko main sab ka vishesh kar jo hai sabhi parents se kehna chahta hu ki wo is baat isko padhe aur isko samjhe ki jo ye aaj ki shiksha hai wo vedik shiksha se bahut bahut dur hai yes uh so i'll leave that aside now and uh, we'll go to the uh section of this presentation that speaks about um, five pillars five fundamental aspects of education to ab main idhar isse thoda hatke ab wo jo shiksha ke panch stambh hain unke bare mein charcha karunga yeah <coughs> oh before that actually uh well no we won't go there today five pillars of education the first one is what is the definition to pratham stambh hai ki kya paribhasha hai second pillar is what is meant to be the disposition or qualities qualifications to dusri paribhasha hai ki aur dusra stambh hai ki क्या योग्यता होनी चाहिए द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ ए टीचर एंड द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट तो गुरु की योग्यता और शिष्य की योग्यता या इट्स नॉट ओनली द टीचर हु हैज टू बी क्वालिफाइड द स्टूडेंट आल्सो हैज टू बी क्वालिफाइड एज ए स्टूडेंट तो एक एकमात्र जो है शिक्षक को कोई ही योग्य नहीं होना है जो शिष्य है उसको भी योग्य होना चाहिए नंबर थ्री delivery how to give to teesri hai ki hum kaise jo shiksha hai uska pradan karni chahiye deliver number 4 design design of curriculum what should be to chautha hai ki kis tarah se jo shiksha ka karyakram hai shiksha ka pathyakram hai usko nirdharit kiya jaye and number 5 what is the direction or destination the goal or पांचवा है कि उसका शिक्षा का लक्ष्य क्या होना चाहिए सो गंतव्य क्या होना द फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन वी रीड फ्रॉम भागवत गीता 7:2 एक्चुअल एजुकेशन मींस द साइमल्टेनियस कल्टिवेशन ऑफ ज्ञानम फेनोमेनल एंड विज्ञानम न्यूमिनस नॉलेज थ्रू फॉर्मल नॉन फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल प्रैक्टिसेस तो प्रथम जो परिभाषा है वह 
जो शिक्षा का अर्थ है कि साइमल्टेनियस कल्टिवेशन ऑफ ज्ञान फिनोमिनल एंड विज्ञान एंड विज्ञान या दैट इज भगवद गीता सेवन टू सो इट्स ये भगवद गीता के सात दशमलव दो श्लोक में है नॉलेज थ्रू फॉर्मल नॉन फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल प्रैक्टिस जिस लाइक टूडे लार्जली एजुकेशनल सिस्टम इज सिंपली टीचिंग अबाउट मेटीरियल सब्जेक्ट्स तो जैसे आज के युग में जो भौतिक शिक्षा है वो वो सिर्फ जो शिक्षा है सिर्फ भौतिक संस्कृति और भौतिकता का ही ज्ञान दे रही है देर फोर इट इज नॉट कम्प्लीट नॉलेज इसीलिए यह पूर्ण ज्ञान नहीं है सो कम्प्लीट नॉलेज एज मैं इन दिस वर्स मीन्स नॉलेज दैट इज डीलिंग विथ और टीचिंग बोथ द स्पिरिचुअल डिमेंशन ऑफ लाइफ एंड द मटीरियल डिमेंशन ऑफ लाइफ तो इसलिए पूर्ण ज्ञान जो इस श्लोक में बताया गया है जो यहाँ परिभाषा दी गई है वह दोनों से डील करता है स्पिरिचुअल ज्ञान और भौतिक ज्ञान यस सो सेकेंड पिलर डिस्पोजिशन अ करेक्ट एजुकेशन मीन्स दैट बोथ द टीचर एंड द स्टूडेंट आर क्वालिफाइड और दूसरा जो स्तंभ है वो ये है वो है कि भाई शिक्षक और शिष्य दोनों को ही योग्य होना चाहिए टीचर शुड हैव नाइन क्वालिटीज जो शिक्षक है उसमें नौ जो गुण होने चाहिए स्टूडेंट शुड हैव थ्री बेसिक क्वालिटीज जो शिष्य है उसमें तीन गुण होने चाहिए एंड दोज आर मैं इन द भागवत गीता द क्वालिटीज ऑफ ए टीचर आर संवादमस्तपासोचम दैट वर्स 1842 फोर्टी टू क्वालिटीज तो शिक्षक के लिए जो अट्ठारहवें श्लोक के बारहवें बयालीसवें श्लोक है अट्ठारहवें अध्याय का समादम तपा शौचम वो श्लोक में दिए गई हैं जिस लाइक प्रॉपर इन वन प्रोट मैं इफ ए टीचर इज स्मोकिंग तो प्रभुपाद एक तात्पर्य में कहते हैं कि जैसे अगर जो शिक्षक है वो सिगरेट पीता है धूम्रपान करता है ही मे हैव सो मच नॉलेज तो उसको बहुत ज्ञान हो सकता है बट ही इज एक्चुअली अनकालीफाइड टू टीच पर वह जो है योग्य नहीं अयोग्य है शिक्षक के लिए अकॉर्डिंग टू वैदिक तो सनातन जो वैदिक शिक्षा के अनुसार एंड वट आर द्री क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट और जो शिष्य के तीन जो उसके गुण हैं चैप्टर फोर टेक्स थर्टी फोर चौथा अध्याय का चौतीसवा श्लोक तदविधि प्रणिपाते नदविधि प्रणिपाते न उस श्लोक से सो वन स्टूडेंट शुड बी हैविंग दीज थ्री क्वालिटीज ऑफ प्रणिपत प्रश्न एंड सेवा सबमिशन इंक्वायरी एंड सर्विस तो जो शिष्य में ये तीन वो होने चाहिए प्रणिपत प्रश्न और सेवा या एंड Delivery of knowledge means how to give this knowledge. It should be in a boarding school. So, guru Kula. Guru Kula so means the place where the guru is residing, isn't it? Hmm. So, ये शिक्षा जो है गुरु कुल में boarding school में प्राप्त की जाती है जहाँ शिक्षक के साथ में निवास करते हैं. In the Vedic, in India, very uh, mostly it would be in the home actually of the teacher. तो भारत देश में ये शिक्षा जो है गुरु के निवास पर प्राप्त की जाती थी एंड एजुकेशन इन वेरी कल्चर इज मैं टू बी फ्री एजुकेशन और वैदिक समाज में जो शिक्षा है वो निःशुल्क होनी चाहिए एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द एजुकेशन स्टूडेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड और दक्षिणा और शिक्षा प्राप्त पूर्ण होने के पश्चात जो शिष्य है उसको दक्षिणा देनी चाहिए सो वी कैन एज वी स्टडी द वेदिक सिस्टम ऑफ एजुकेशन वी कैन सी द मेजर कॉन्ट्रास्ट बिटवीन मॉडर्न एजुकेशन एंड वेदिक एजुकेशन तो जब हम समझेंगे तो हम देख सकेंगे कि इन दोनों में जो वैदिक शिक्षा है और आज के आधुनिक शिक्षा है ये yes. कितनी अत्यंत भिन्न है एंड डिजाइन वट शुड बी द करिकुलम Curriculum means it should be based on uh, content from Vedic literatures. So, जो पाठ्यक्रम है वो वैदिक 
जो वैदिक शिक्षा है वैदिक शास्त्र हैं उसके अनुसार होनी चाहिए yes. And what should be the goal or the direction or the purpose for education? It should be uh, to help one become self-realized. Or जो शिक्षा का लक्ष्य है वो होना चाहिए कि जो शिष्य है वह आत्म साक्षात्कार कर सके. Yes. Uh, <coughs> and proper uh, mentions. Actually, this is from the Sri Ishopanishad. Mm. Uh, mantra number nine, Sri Ishupanishad Mantra nine. Those who engage in a culture of nascent activities shall enter into the darkest region of ignorance. So, Prabhupada, who is Ishupanishad, ke naomi shlok me mantra me kehte hai. Those who do not teach properly, they will go to hell more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And worse still, those engaged in the culture of so-called, especially those who are trying to uh, teach uh, without proper knowledge, their situation is even worse. और इनसे भी बदतर उनकी स्थिति है जो बिना जिनको अपने आप सही ज्ञान नहीं है और वो जो है शिक्षा देना चाहते हैं and in the report proper mentions thus the aim of real education should be self realization और फिर प्रोपाद जो है तात्पर्य में कहते हैं कि इसलिए जो शिक्षा का लक्ष्य होना चाहिए वह आत्म साक्षात्कार and, and any education which does not lead to such realization of the self and the super self must be considered as avidya ignorance aisi aisi koi bhi shiksha jo atma jo shishya ko atma atma sakshatkar tak nahi le jati hai to wah avidya hai yeah so <coughs> uh, this actually is basically giving a, a brief overview of what is meant to be traditional Vedic education. So, ये ऊपरी रूप से ये बताती है कि क्या जो वैदिक परंपरागत जो हमारा शिक्षा का माध्यम है वो कैसा होता है. So we should ask ourselves where are we as a society? Where where are we situated in terms of these definitions of education. So, we have to ask ourselves that we are living in the society and the way that we are living in the society and the way that we are living in the society. And where are we? <laughs> yeah, it means uh, if, if formal education, actual formal education is Gurukula, it means we, we don't have many Gurukulas. तो अगर हम ये कहते हैं हम ये समझते हैं कि औपचारिक शिक्षा जो है गुरुकुल में प्राप्त की जा सकती है तो गुरुकुल कहाँ है? And if non-formal education is meant to be going with the calves or the cows every day, we don't have too much of that happening also. तो और अगर हम कहते हैं कि अनौपचारिक शिक्षा तो अनौपचारिक शिक्षा के लिए तो आज की जो है न गाय हैं न गवाले हैं। See we we should not become, uh, I mean, I'm presenting this not to, um, <coughs> not to create any kind of discouragement, <laughs> but, but to underline that there is a standard. Vedic knowledge is teaching us uh, a particular standard, and we should know what that standard is. तो मैं ये इसलिए नहीं कह रहा हूँ कि आप सब लोग जो है चिंतित हो जाएं मेरा कहने का ये है कि आप लोग ये समझें कि हम वैदिक शिक्षा से के स्तर पर कहाँ पर हैं and let us remember let us keep in mind also as we were mentioning at the beginning of the presentation we are dealing with concepts that are sanatan eternal eternal concepts और हमको याद रखना चाहिए कि हम जो विषय है यह सनातन शिक्षा है, सनातन विषय है। वैदिक एजुकेशन इस एन इटर्नल सिस्टम ऑफ एजुकेशन। तो वैदिक जो शिक्षा है, 
वो सनातन प्रणाली है एक्चुअली एजुकेशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द एजुकेशन वी रिसीव इट विल लीडर्स टू सम पर्टिकुलर ऑक्यूपेशन तो जो हम शिक्षा प्राप्त करते हैं वह हमारे को उस तरह के कार्य में लगाती है इन द भगवद गीता दैट्स कॉल प्रिस्क्राइब ड्यूटीज वर द प्रिस्क्राइब ड्यूटीज फॉर मैन काइंड तो भगवद गीता हमें बताती है कि यह जो है वो प्रेस्क्राइब ड्यूटीज हैं सो आई वुल लीव यू विद दीज थाट्स एंड एंड we have a choice here we 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 can go um uh, to show a short video or we could take some questions on the subject matter whatever ab main aapko idhar hindi pe chintan karne ke liye chhodta hu yahan pe aur par aap ab mere paas kuch samay hai ya to main ek aapko video dikha sakta hu ya is beech pehle kuch prashn le sakta hu aapke yeah so can i get some direction here <laughs> बोला गोपाल प्रभु जी तो वे तो क्वेश्चन और वीडियो कुछ प्रश्न पूछना चाहते हैं हाँ जब तक वो वीडियो ओके वो थ्री क्वेश्चन एंड इफ टाइम इज देयर वो शो वीडियो इफ नॉट टमोरो सेवन मिनट्स ओके ओके एंड इफ If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes to think about any question. If there are any questions, you have seven minutes in the vedic uh, the education system the, there was no fee charged to the student but they used to pay as, like uh, like uh, as a as a D- dakshina dakshina as a as a part of gratitude towards the teacher at yeah, the end yeah. of the education yes what the uh, probably it was possible but then how does a uh, modern world how does a teacher survive without having any fees from the if that is only source of income for a, a teacher <coughs> in modern world the teachers cannot survive because we don't we don't follow the vedic culture <laughs> unless one is trained um i should we mention that there's no fee for the students what you're mentioning here also which i did not mention is that there are no salary for the teachers in the vedic culture that's not a problem because people understand uh and and live according to the vedic culture where householders by nature they will provide for the teachers yeah hari krishna to prabhu ji ka prashna tha ki agar jo shikshak hai usko vetan nahi milega to usko wo kis tarah se apna ghar chalayega to hamar maharaj ne uttar diya ki hamare liye ye samajhna to kathin hai kyunki hum aaj ki date mein kahin bhi vedik jo pranali hai uska koi palan nahi karta vedik jo pranali thi usme शिक्षक को गृहस्थ जो लोग होते थे तो उनकी जो आवश्यकता है वो लोग उनको दिया करते थे सो इट इज रैदर इन कंसीवेबल फॉर अस इन आर प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन बिकॉज वेरी कल्चर इज नॉट देयर इज नॉट इस्टेब्लिश बट वी शुड नो दैट दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड एंड वी शुड स्ट्राइव टू कम क्लोजर टू दैट स्टैंडर्ड तो हमारे लिए समझना इसीलिए कठिन है क्योंकि आज के परिप्रेक्ष्य में हमको ऐसा कोई अनुभव नहीं है कि ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है पर हमको यह इसीलिए जानना चाहिए कि यह वैदिक स्तर क्या है हमको उसी जिससे कि हम ये समझ सकें कि हमें अपने आप कैसा व्यवहार करना चाहिए महाराज कैन यू अंडरस्टैंड इन वर्णाश्रमा सिस्टम वेयर द ब्राह्मणाज वेयर सपोर्टेड बाई गृहस्थ so the teacher we consider as brahmana so they can teach the students without expecting fees from them because they are being supported by uh, the grastha uh, can you just briefly again mention that, uh, repeat that question uh, the, the, as you mentioned that uh, in uh, varnashrama system the yes. brahmanas are supported by the other classes like especially the grasthas or oh, yes. sorry the one uh, uh, kshatriyas or vaishyas yeah yeah correct 
So yeah. those who are grastas, they can they can they can support the brahmanas who are just uh, taking occupation of teaching the students. Right. So you're making a statement, not asking a question. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to have your op uh, your, your, your opinion on that, Maharaj. It's not my. I don't have any personal opinion. I'm just repeating what the system is is described in the shastra. When Vedic culture is followed, when it is understood then yes, it is a responsibility of uh, grihastas who are not brahmanas, and because the brahmanas are actually very, very small percentage, it, therefore it's a responsibility of other grihastas uh, who are either in the category of uh, vaishas or um, uh, kshatriyas to, to support the brahmanas um, in different ways, yeah. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah. Thank you. And, and that cannot be done artificially, and, and, and therefore, therefore there is a need for training and education. And that's why Srila Prabhupada, many years ago, I'll stop here so, so that you won't be too troubled here, uh, wanted that we establish Varnashram colleges to educate and train our devotees. So, we have to understand that it is very important for us that we have to do this हम लोगों को शिक्षा प्राप्त हो और इसीलिए प्रभु श्रील प्रभुपाद का की ये इच्छा और उनकी दृष्टि थी कि हम ऐसे कॉलेजेस ऐसे उनकी स्थापना करें जहां पर हमको ये वैदिक शिक्षा दी जा सके। Yeah, we are very very far away from what the ideal is meant to be, but we should know what that ideal is and we should strive to come close to that ideal. हम 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 इससे बहुत दूर हैं, पर हमको ये ज्ञान तो होना चाहिए कि वो आदर्श जो प्रणाली है, आदर्श परिस्थिति है, वो क्या है, और हमको अपने आप से ये प्रयास करना चाहिए कि हम प्रयास कैसे भी उसको ज्ञात ज्ञान प्राप्त कर सकें और उस प्रणाली को अपना सकें। Just like to become a pure devotee is something very far away. Is something very rare as well, but we know that that's the goal, and we are all endeavoring, isn't it, so to become purified, to one day become pure devotees. Yeah. तो जैसे कि एक शुद्ध भक्त है, तो हमको पता है कि ये शुद्ध भक्त जो है, बनना ये एक असंभव सा है, पर फिर भी हमको पता है कि हम जिस मार्ग में हैं, उस मार्ग के द्वारा हम एक दिन उस शुद्ध भक्त बन सकते हैं, और हम उसी के लिए प्रयास करते हैं, साधना कर so we will now uh, go to the movies. Yes? Okay. Maharaj, there are so many residential schools na, in India. Are they close to uh, what we are speaking? Whether the residential schools in India are close to what we're speaking about, I would have to look and study the residential schools. They are close in the sense that that aspect of boarding is there, which is actually very important. Uh, it would depend on the uh, what they are being taught, and and, um, and and also the qualifications of those who are teaching. Oh, okay. I think it's difficult to generalize as such, but they do have, resi you know, just like I went to a seminary when I was, you know, 14 years old. I went to a seminary, which is boarding school. So it's like the uh, a uh, Christian version of uh, Gurukula, <laughs> kind of. So boarding is is actually uh, many people who uh, have that kind of uh, training in a boarding school. It helps one to become more uh, disciplined. I mean, if, if the teachers are qualified, of course, yeah. So it's one aspect, but it, it's not necessarily um, equivalent to what we are discussing. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yeah, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Okay. Hare Krishna. If, if allowed, Maharaj, uh, one question. Yeah, You're Maharaj. allowed. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Maharaj, this uh, homeschooling is very rapidly increasing now. Huh? Homeschool. Hope. Home. Homeschool. Where the students, the Home. children's. Home. Homeschooling. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Maharaj. How, yes. how good it is for the children who have enrolled for it and... Uh, oh, you know, more and more people, even 
who are not devotees in America, for example, opt for homeschooling because public public school is generally quite bad. आज के समाज में विशेषकर अमेरिका में बहुत लोग homeschooling घर में पढ़ाना उसको पसंद करते हैं और उसका प्रयास वो बच्चों को घर में पढ़ाते हैं क्योंकि जो स्कूल्स हैं उनकी स्थिति बहुत खराब है and I would say more and more of our devotees are opting for homeschooling, which is much closer to our Vedic uh, norm than today's modern public school system. And I would also say that our devotees who are in this way, there are many people who are doing homeschooling because this is Vedic Shiksha. So definitely, whenever it is possible, uh, parents uh, can uh, can opt for homeschooling, uh, and and we have devotees actually within our society. We have parents who are specialized in homeschooling. So, ये बिल्कुल सही है कि जो लोग ऐसा करना चाहें तो उनके लिए हमारे संस्था में ऐसे parents हैं और ऐसे जो लोग हैं जो इसके लिए आप लोगों को अच्छा जो सुझाव दे सकते हैं और शिक्षा दे सकते हैं। Yeah, you can probably find out a bit more about that by contacting the Ministry of Education. तो आप इसके बारे में जो इसकोन Ministry of जो Education है, उनसे संपर्क करके आप विशेष जानकारी प्राप्त कर सकते हैं। Yeah, yeah, okay. हरे कृष्ण। yeah. Video? Video. So this, uh, this is about a community in Canada. Yesterday we were in uh, Australia. Now we're going to Canada. So we in Australia. Today we are going to Canada. Ja rahe hai. Sound needs to be increased. Sound. We have one cow, gear cow actually in Canada, of all places, called Surabi. What happened to the sound? <laughs> This community is spread over 2,000 acres of land. Very big. These are called Zibu, Zibu bulls. The devotees have their own school there also. This one devotee who is... This is my favorite part of the garden. This is the poop water. <laughs> now this is... Uh, some people might find it a little repulsive for us human beings. But for the plants upon whom we depend, this is their lifeblood. Mix it around and break it up. Leave it soaking for, you know, three, four days. In that water as well, we've got some comfrey leaves from a plant growing in another part of the garden. And also, from the lake over there, we collect some seaweed. So organic farming is a very integral part of organic culture. The greenhouse are also essential in cold countries. Gardening season very short. Three or four months maximum. <laughs> 
Area surrounded by forests, and they have a portable sawmill where they cut wood for construction. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Rama Rama. family has their own greenhouse, practically their own garden. They let varieties of vegetables, fruit trees, This is in Western Canada. Every Sunday, devotees, as we all do, gather for the weekly Sunday Feast program. They have Govardhan Thai. And they have Govardhan School. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Every summer, in the fall, they harvest. They grow corn, roots, roots that they keep all winter in the root cellar. Everyone uses wood to cook and to keep warm in the winter time. Winters are long and cold, as you can see. Neighboring cows come. It's definitely a challenge in these countries, but still the devotees are... Devotees from Indonesia. quotation that we must become self-sufficient by growing our own grains and producing our own milk. It's a very fundamental, essential component actually of the Vedic culture. So this ends our presentation. Lights can be on if there's any comment or question.
There are four enemies to agriculture, beginning with tractors, because they are very destructive, they create unemployment, and uh, they put the oxen, uh, I mean, they, it, it, it takes away the uh, normal work that uh, normally are oxen, so <coughs> it is not recommended. Machines, also um, hybrid seeds and chemical fertilizers, chemical pesticides are very destructive to the, to the soil and, and ultimately to human beings as well. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Another great session today about the uh, Vedic education, actually, or Nashrama education. So thank you so much, Maharaj. Uh, and now, Maharaj, you will be distributing the prashadam on this Ekadashi day. Yeah. So devotees can come forward and collect the prashadam from Maharaj. And whoever wants to offer Dakshina to Maharaj, they can offer Dakshina. Hare Krishna. While Maharaj is distributing to the Kirtan, meantime I will read out the announcements. Hare Krishna. Today evening Ekadashi Prashadam offered by His Grace Somamamshi Madhavdas Prabhu and Her Grace Sakishreshta Radha Devidasi Mataji for blessings.